Refresh the page. The IRS has a new cannabis section. If you so happen to have had a tab open for the Internal Revenue Service's official website, you might want to refresh the page. The IRS has published a new page on their site specifically for cannabis businesses. The page serves as a resource for business owners to find out information on tax responsibilities and other requirements. A key component in promoting the highest degree of voluntary compliance on the part of taxpayers is helping them understand and meet their tax responsibilities while also enforcing the law with integrity and fairness to all, reads the IRS webpage. Now, there seems to be a unique juxtaposition between the IRS publishing a webpage dedicated to the cannabis industry while cannabis remains illegal on a federal level. The second section of the webpage reads, quote, businesses that traffic marijuana in contravention of federal or state law are subject to the limitations of Internal Revenue Code Section 280E. Some of the key information provided on the IRS website's cannabis industry page includes details on income reporting, cash payment options, dealing with large cash amounts, making quarterly estimated tax payments, and maintaining an efficient record-keeping system. Good records assist in monitoring a business's progress, tracking deductible expenses, and can substantiate items reported on tax returns, the IRS says. Generally, it is best to record transactions daily. On the webpage's FAQ section, the IRS provides an answer to perhaps one of the most obvious and concerning questions for licensed cannabis businesses. If I operate in compliance with my state's laws while cannabis is still considered federally illegal, am I subject to the same income and employment tax filing requirements as other businesses? Yes. Income from any source is taxable. The Supreme Court has long held that income from illegal sources is taxable and is not exempt from taxation, the site reads. More recently, federal courts have consistently upheld Internal Revenue Service determinations that state-compliant marijuana dispensaries have taxable income. Similarly, illegal businesses have no exemption from their employment tax obligations. More key information includes guidance on if a cannabis company were to find itself in a situation in which it cannot pay the full amount owed to the IRS. The agency outlines payment plans to, quote, meet taxpayer obligation in monthly installments, as well as temporary delays of collection. 